In 1944, against the backdrop of horrors that was World War II, Dr. Chaim Weizmann, the renowned chemist and Zionist leader, reached his 70th birthday. Though the world was filled with unspeakable atrocities, Dr. Weizmann bestowed his wish on the hopes of bettering humanity. I need nothing for myself, but if you wish, do something for the expansion of the Daniel Seif Research Institute. That wish was answered when a group of determined leaders, galvanized by Mayor Weisskull, met in the U.S. to establish what would become the American Committee for the Weizmann Institute of Science. Ten years earlier, in 1934, Dr. Weizmann had founded the Daniel Seif Research Institute in Palestine. Dr. Weizmann had an ambitious vision to create a world-class science facility that would drive the success of the future state of Israel. With the November 1944 founding of the American Committee, that vision began to crystallize. Now, the American Committee turned 70, and the noble gift of seven decades ago continues to give to Israel to science and to the world in ways that Dr. Weizmann could only have imagined. The committee's first fundraising dinner, held in November 1945, brought more than 2,000 esteemed guests to the glamorous Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City. But the occasion was a solemn one. The unthinkable genocide of Europe's Jews was foremost in the minds of the attendees. Nevertheless, more than $1 million was raised, and a partnership between science and philanthropy was born. Less than a year later, on June 3, 1946, the Weizmann Institute cornerstone was laid in Rehovot. Within two years, the Institute was making vital contributions to Israel's War of Independence. In May 1948, the State of Israel was officially founded with Dr. Weizmann as its first president. The following year, on November 2, 1949, Dr. Weizmann presided over the inauguration of the Weizmann Institute. It was dedicated to his hope that it would forever be a place of peace, collaboration, and scientific excellence. The initial dream of the American Committee's visionaries, Dewey Stone, Harry Levine, and Mayor Weisgall, had come true, yet the real work had just begun. All too soon, in November 1952, Dr. Weizmann passed away. Addressing his supporters, his widow Vera said, I do not know how fully you realize that you are my husband's spiritual heirs. You started, you promoted, you supported the Weizmann Institute of Science, and the whole burden now falls on you to continue it. It was a challenge the young organization took to heart. Indeed, since its founding, the American Committee has provided more than $2 billion in support of the Weizmann Institute. From 1944 through today, the organization's 13 national chairs, along with its presidents and boards of directors, have personified generosity and commitment. The second key is the passion and dedication of the committee's family of supporters. As they have since that first dinner, American committee events continue to inspire, bringing together supporters with luminaries from the worlds of science, politics, business, and culture. These gatherings, large and small, are a vital element of the committee's outreach, which has led to the convergence of intellectual curiosity and philanthropy. These supporters have been inspired to give in many ways, such as helping educate future generations of scientists. For example, in 1969, with an endowment from the first female deputy superintendent of the Chicago public school system, the Dr. Bessie F. Lawrence International Summer Science Institute was launched. Dr. Lawrence's program welcomed 80 talented pre-university students to work with Weizmann researchers for a month of discovery and fun. Today, 
there are more than 3,000 Bessie alumni worldwide. The American Committee has always strived to create opportunities for supporters to engage personally with Weizmann scientists in their laboratories and in their homes. In the 1980s, the impact of science program gave participants five days of immersion on the Weizmann campus. This initiative evolved over the years into a range of international travel opportunities that culminate in visits to the Institute. For 70 years, Americans have provided funds for research facilities, helping transform the Weizmann Institute. But what matters most is what happens inside these impressive buildings. Here, some of the world's most creative scientific minds have the freedom to follow their curiosity. Here, hundreds of research funds established by U.S. donors support vital investigations and help provide essential but costly instrumentation. Here, scholarships enable gifted graduate students to pursue master's and doctoral degrees. Here, 250 research groups cross the borders of scientific disciplines to face the world's most pressing challenges. Because here, the goal of each project supported by the American Committee is to improve the quality of life of every person on our planet. The wonders of the Weizmann Institute are brought closer to home through programs across the U.S., including presentations by scientists who are eager to share their search for answers to the mysteries of the universe. And through both traditional and newer channels, Weizmann discoveries are shared with the American public. The generation of Dewey Stone and Harry Levine helped shape the early institute. And from one generation to the next, American supporters have been active partners in the institute's progress. Even as the American Committee grew over the decades, the promise of its founders remained unwavering. Today, the American Committee partners with an international network of vibrant committees supporting the institute we celebrate our achievements together. For 70 years, the American Committee for the Weizmann Institute of Science has been, and forever will be, a family dedicated to science for the benefit of humanity.